what's even going on? That makes me angry. I cannot believe it is time for my best of the best in makeup for 2023. Like what is going on? How did we get here so fast? So I aimed to pick like my top number one product in every single category, but of course there are certain categories that have runners up, I mean, or ties. If you are new to my channel, hello, my name is Kate the Great Beauty. I am an exclusively pro-choice influencer, which means that I only feature products from brands that are loudly and proudly pro-choice. If you are interested in checking out my pro-choice beauty brand list that is always available to you on my Instagram, literally go to my Instagram. It's a pinned post, screenshot it, keep it with you. Oh, but of course, how could I forget? I am drinking, what do you think I'm drinking? This is filled with spiked nog. It is the Southern Comfort, the only way to go, okay? Spiked with the Jameson Caskmates IPA edition. The Southern Comfort eggnog is the best. I almost cried because I went to my grocery store today and they were out. And then I went up to someone who worked there and I was like, do you have any more eggnog in the back per chance? And he did, he did. And he went and brought me an eggnog. Run, do not walk on this combo. It is so good. And of course I always serve it super, super, super chilled. This video is in partnership with Ana Luisa Jewelry. I wanna thank Ana Luisa for being like, honest to God, one of my favorite companies, brands to partner with. I love everything about them. They're based in New York, so it always feels like a perfect fit. They're also loudly and proudly pro-choice, and that's kind of hard to find with jewelry brands. Basically, these are beautiful everyday essentials that you can feel good about wearing because also Ana Luisa really, really cares about the environment. They use recycled metals and everything they do. I also feel like Ana Luisa just gets better and better every year. I feel like they had even more styles that I fall in love with. It's just better than ever. So I'm gonna take you through a few of the pieces I'm wearing today and they're all rings. I'm a big ring gal. Like it's my favorite piece of jewelry to wear. I love wearing multiple rings. I love stacking rings. I also wanna point out that the jewelry in my ears as well as my necklace is Ana Luisa. They actually sent me two of the same ring and let me tell you how I'm not mad about this because this has turned out to be my favorite ring I've ever gotten from Ana Luisa. So this is a quilted ring. I'm wearing it on my middle finger as well as my thumb. I'm wearing this as a stacking piece on my middle finger on top of some rings that I never take off. So the rings I never take off are right here. These are vintage rings. And then I also have a stack that I never take off. So basically I just added this to the stack. So this is the Zeta quilted ring and I love a simple textured ring. She is so gorgeous look at how eye-catching and blingy she is. I actually would have ended up purchasing a second one of these if they hadn't already sent me a second one. This ring is just so beautiful and there's something about the gold that they used in this. It's kind of a lighter gold. It's almost a little bit between like a bright gold and a silver and it's just my favorite. It is so, well, let's look at what it looks like stacked <laughs> together. You can see there, like, is that not just so gorgeous? It kind of has a vintage vibe to it and this is just classic. Like this is never ever gonna go out of style. And then the ring on my index finger is so, so cute. And I will say I do love hearts, but sometimes hearts can be a little like precious. You know what I mean? Like a little too cutesy cutesy, not this ring. So this is called the Ila or the Isla ring. They suggest this being perfect as a pinky ring. And now that I'm seeing that, I'm like, that would be so cute. But really on any finger, it, it just looks great. I just really cannot recommend Ana Luisa enough. Their jewelry looks way more higher price than it is. It is so affordable. They have jewelry starting at $39, which is amazing. Ana Luisa is currently having a holiday sale right now and it is up to 35% off site-wide. So definitely check that out. I'm gonna have all of that linked down below in my description box, along with literally every single product I'm gonna be talking about here today. If you shop through my affiliate links, it just means that I get a small commission from your purchase. And I thank you guys so much in advance because it really helps support my channel. Mm, I might just turn into Buddy the Elf in front of your very eyes today. Oh, and I do wanna mention that these are not like all new releases from 20. 2023. All of these products are literally what I cannot put down, the cream of the crop, the best of the best. So it doesn't necessarily mean that every single one of these products came out this year, just to be clear. Okay, so first we're starting with primers, and I cannot say enough about 
how much primers do in terms of makeup application. I feel like I've heard this argument about are primers necessary? Aren't they necessary for years now? And I don't know what necessary means, but if you want your makeup to look the best it can possibly look, a primer is really, really going to make that happen for you if you choose the right one. This is my number one primer for 2023. This is the In Beauty Face Glaze. It's gonna give you smooth, plumped, luscious looking skin. It's also got some really great skincare in here. It's got ceramides, it's got hyaluronic acid, it's got vegan squalanes. So you're not only getting just a glow product, just a primer, but the thing that makes this extra amazing is that it's skincare as well. This is just so cushiony. It is so luxe feeling. It is a gel cream formula. And look at that, just on my hand. Is that not absolutely gorgeous? I am almost through with this and I have a backup waiting for me. Like I am not going to be without this product, period. I get a lot of questions about foundation, about application in general, and I find that most issues people have with makeup are usually because they aren't applying it in the, I don't wanna say the right way, I'm gonna say the best way for them. And if you guys ever have questions about makeup application, I have so many recent videos where I've literally taken you through my entire face of makeup and how I go about applying that. So I would definitely suggest checking those videos out. Okay, I feel like this product really took the beauty industry by storm. It is, there's really nothing like it. This is the Merit Great Skin. This is my third or fourth bottle of this and this is just a lot like the in beauty face glaze even though they're very very different formulas they both have the same idea which is beautiful plumped hydrated skin before you go over it with makeup so this is a very watery serum it's kind of like somewhere between an essence a serum and a facial oil even when i'm not using this as a primer before makeup i'm using this every single day in my skincare regimen because it's that good for your skin. Like this is pretty much one of my go-to hyaluronic acid serums. I also want to take this opportunity to mention that if you haven't checked out Merit or you have and you can't get enough, I have my own collection with Merit. It's Kate Times Merit and it's basically my favorites from their brand. So many of those products are in this video today, but of course I had to include the Merit Great Skin. It was like a non-option not to do so. And I got to plug my collection because it is evergreen, so it's always there for you to show Shop and it is always 15% off. So basically, if you buy my collection, you're getting 15% off as compared to if you were to buy all of those products off of Merit at full price, like individually. And the last primer I have to mention, this is pretty new. This is the Dew Air Angel. It is a hydrating gel cream moisturizer. I have fallen so hard in love with Dew this year. I have every single one of their products and I love them all. This is our newest release, and this is basically like a lighter, not quite as dewy version of their original hit formula, which is their Instant Angel Moisturizer. So this is a lighter version of that, and it just so happens that this is phenomenal underneath makeup. Do actually had makeup artists use this on their models for fashion week here, and they were like blown away by how beautifully makeup goes on top of this, and I have to agree. It really gives you just like a very natural finish. Like you can see, obviously it's juicy, but it's not quite as blingy as say, like what I just showed you with the face glaze. All these primers are very different in formula and concept, but the thing that they have in common is that you just can't go wrong with these. Okay, so I could have probably folded this product into primers, but I'm including it in a separate category of its own, just called glow products. But also you should know that this makes an incredible primer. It is so beautiful. This is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. This is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I loved the Charlotte Tilbury. Charlotte Tilbury is not pro-choice, so I had to let go of all that makeup, which was RIP very sad, but what's amazing is I actually like this a little bit better than the Charlotte Tilbury. Like I'm gonna put some on right now. I don't need to, but I'm gonna. This really just does filter your skin. It stretches across the skin. So I don't even understand how they did this. It's amazing. Like, look at that. It really does lump up the skin even more, even more than my skin already was with like the In Beauty Face Glaze and all of that. But look at how adding that in 
just amped it up. What's even going on? That makes me angry. This is my go-to highlighter, period. Like I was actually, you know, compiling this list yesterday and I was like trying to think of all the highlighters I've been using lately and this is the only one. And next we're moving on to foundations. My number one foundation for 2023, hands down, I want to say no competition, but I was so blown away by this that it just is automatically number one. It is the Say Glowy Super Skin Hydro Bounce Foundation. I actually do not even have this because I just finished it and I threw it in my empties bag. And I know a lot of people loved the Say Slip Tint and I actually have owned two tubes of that. And while I like that, I do, I can't compare to this foundation in my opinion. The Say GSS Foundation just gives me my skin but better every single time. It's never gonna let me down. It's never gonna do me wrong. It's just so good. And you best believe that I'm going to be repurchasing another one because I already feel kind of sad and alone without it. So that's number one. But my other two favorite foundations that I have to mention, first is the Merit Minimalist Stick. This is actually what I'm wearing on my face today. And this is a part of my collection with Merit. You can see I'm like getting down to the very bottom of mine. I already have a backup waiting for me. I am in the shade Linen. There's so many fantastic things about this foundation. One, the fact that it's just so easy to travel with. Like when I travel, this is all I bring. And I'm talking about concealer and foundation because this is a two-in-one product. Like this is all I'm wearing as a base on my face today. I know some people are skeptical about stick foundations and I actually am one of those people. I generally I'm not a huge fan of that. I'm probably not going to gravitate toward a stick foundation as much, but this really proved me wrong. And I will tell you, in my opinion, the best way to apply this is with a damp beauty blender. That is the only way I apply this. I know some people use their brush. Uh, they use a brush to apply this and I have tried that. I feel like I do not get nearly as flawless an application as I do when using a damp sponge. So the Say Glowy Super Skin Foundation, for instance, is obviously it's in the name. It's a very glowy, dewy foundation. If you're looking for something a little less glowy, a little bit more of the satin finish, this is going to be your girl. This just has a beautiful, natural satin finish to it and I literally keep this in my makeup bag at all times. I have a little makeup bag that I always keep with me in my backpack um, like if I get ready at work or whatever and this is the foundation in that bag. And of course I have to mention the Tower 28 Sunny Days Foundation. She is also not with us. She is also in that empties bag because I just finished it. You cannot go wrong with any of these foundations I'm suggesting. I do find that the Tower 28 is a little bit closer to, you know, the Say foundation just because they're both liquid foundations. I find they apply very similarly, which is flawlessly. Oh my god, I forgot concealer. I totes forgot it. I'm sitting here having an icy cold Sapporo. Anyway, let me just tell you the concealer winner of 2023 is the Tower 28. I mean, it it's not a surprise. Okay, so moving on to powder, and if you have been with my channel all this year, you know that I have been on the hunt for a pro-choice press powder, not loose, press, because that's what I prefer. It's a lot less messy, and I found the one. This is the Make Diffusion Set Setting Powder. Guys, this is so gorgeous, and this comes the closest to a Charlotte Tilbury powder. That was my favorite. That was my holy grail. Nothing ever came close to that until this. I'm wearing this today, and the reason this just won my heart over is because it gives you that gorgeous, like, subtle blur to your skin. Like, it really does almost look like you have a filter over your skin, but it's not too much, and it's not too matte. Make does a fantastic job with their powders. I'm really delving into Make right now. I grabbed one of their blushes. I have this. I've heard fantastic things about their powder bronzer. And the runner-up is a loose powder because while I was on the hunt for press powder, this was my go-to powder and I really love it. This is the Elia um, Fade Into You Soft Focus Powder. And you can see I've, I've made my way through most of it and this is very similar to the Make. It has the same qualities that I love. It has that beautiful blur to it, but it's also really natural. It's never going to look cakey. Okay, so I'm going in with a blush that I'm gonna talk about in just a little bit, but when I put that e.l.f. Halo Glow on, it kind of tamped my blush down and 
we can't have that. So moving on to bronzer and my number one bronzer from 2023 is hands down the Jones Road Powder Bronzer. I know I keep referencing Charlotte Tilbury a lot in this video, but what can I say? I was a huge fan of so many of her products and I really felt like her bronzer, her powder bronzer was just untouchable until I found this. This is very similar to that. It's finely milled. Like I talked about with the setting powders, it has this gorgeous blur to it. I am wearing this on my face today. I'm wearing a little bit like on my temples just to add some dimension to my face. And then the runner up, which I've talked about so many times, is the Merit Bronzing Balm Sticks. I have two shades of this. And this is just my favorite cream bronzer. It is really subtle. If you're a person who likes to go like really, really hard and intense with the bronzer, this might not be your favorite because it really is just such a beautiful, natural, minimalist bronzer. So moving on to eyeshadow and I have one eyeshadow for you and it's the Merit Solo Shadow. So they came out with eight different matte shadows of their solo shadows, which are cream shadows. And then for the holiday, they released this special edition shimmery solo shadow in the shade Glacé. <sighs> Guys, this is what I'm wearing on my lids today and I am waiting on pins and freaking needs for them to release this as like a permanent part of their collection, which I've heard that's probably going to happen. This is just a shade after my own heart. If I could wear this every single day of my life, I'd be happy. This is all I need when it comes to eyeshadow. It's all I want. And if you love a matte shadow, you need to get in on their matte solo shadows. This is my favorite shade which is studio it's kind of like this light pinky brown shade it's so perfect it's a one and done for me so I basically rotate between this and glossé back and forth and I have used some of the darker statement shades or the darker browns to actually line my eyes and what a brilliant way to use this product the next thing I want to try out is a little tiny baby wing with this midnight shade anytime in this video I talk about a merit product that is a part of my collection I'm gonna point that out to you and the solo shadows are definitely a part of my merit collection moving on to mascara and my number one pick is not going to surprise anyone it's the tower 28 mascara this is actually Actually my third tube of this and I'm about out of this and about to repurchase a fourth tube I am wearing this on my lashes today this just gives you the most beautiful flirty lashes it's buildable which is like the number one thing I look for in a mascara I also love the rubbery wand it's kind of giving like benefit roller lash vibes they really knocked it out of the park with this mascara and for $20 like what's even happening the other mascara winner is the merit mascara I don't have it here with me because I'm gonna be honest my desk is a total mess and I just simply could not find it <laughs> so I'm gonna flash it up here on the screen but this is such a great mascara it is a tubing mascara which I actually do not prefer generally speaking but the tubes on this are so subtle they don't bother me when I'm washing my face and again Similar to the Tower 28, this just gives me like the perfect flirty gurdy lashes. These two mascaras for me are neck and neck. So drum roll please. We're moving on to blush. You know it's my favorite category. So for powder blush, I have one recommendation and it actually comes with a cream blush as well. So, and I'm gonna recommend both of these. This is the Patrick Ta Blush Duo, the Major Headlines Blush Duo. And I'm actually pulling my favorite color, the color I'm wearing today on my cheeks, which is called She's Blushing. Guys, this is such a beautiful nude blush. I just purchased this a few weeks ago and it's all I've been wearing. I have almost every single one of the shades of the Patrick blush duos and I want to slap myself because the entirety of this year for some reason I just like forgot about my drawer of Patrick Ta and I've been like oh I wish I had a pro-choice powder blush oh wait I do so anyway I'm picking these back up again and look at how beautiful this shade is but the quality of this blush and I know I sound repetitive but this is what I love in powder I'm looking for that natural beautifully blurred look and that's what this gives me sometimes I use these together but actually today I'm just wearing the powder because it's really really pigmented on its own okay moving on to cream blush and this is the category that has the most product in it number one cream blush of 2023 is the Merit Flesh Balm. This is my most favorite cream blush formula, hands down. I think I have almost every single shade with the exception of maybe one. I am showing you one of my favorite shades right now. This is the shade Stockholm. This is one of the most beautiful, sheer, 
bouncy blushes I have ever worn. Yes, I am gonna put some on right now and I love to apply it just to the apple of my cheek. Like it's so beautiful, you don't even have to blend it in. You could just go like that. What? Every single shade is so gorgeous. My two favorite shades are Stockholm and Fox. These are obviously a part of my Merit collection. You know, they're all a little bit different. I will say like the shades Beverly Hills and Stockholm are a little bit more sheer. If you want something with a little bit more pigment that isn't quite as sheer, look to the shades that are a little bit deeper. I think Fox is definitely a little less sheer than this. Honestly, when I apply this, it gives my skin such a beautiful glow. I don't even really feel like I need highlighter most of the time, which is why the only highlighter I ever really use is the e.l.f. Halo Glow. I'm not going to go on and on about the cream blush and the Patrick Todd duos because I was just talking about these. These are such a great buy because you're literally getting two in one. You're getting a powder and you're getting a cream blush. I saw Patrick Ta apply this shade, She's Blushing, to his mother in a TikTok, and it's what made me go and get this because it was so stunning. So if you are looking for just a gorgeous nude blush, I can't recommend this enough, although all of his duos are so, so beautiful. Next, I have to talk about the Ami Cole blush sticks. Guys, these are such a unique formula. Talk about blurring. And you really don't usually get to say that much with you know, a cream blush product. They are actually matte. So if you're not a dewy lover, you're going to love, I love dewy and I love these. Because again, they give you that gorgeous, like filtered blur to your skin. And this shade right here, this is called Dune. I love this shade so much. This is definitely like in the Fox family from Merit. And this looks so beautiful on the skin. It's one of those shades, kind of like she's blushing, where I'm like, oh, I think I know how that's gonna look in the pan. And then I put it on my skin and I'm like, I, I couldn't have guessed that. That's even more stunning than I could have imagined. So I have two shades of the Ami Cole and I wanna get more. And I really actually hope they come out with a bigger shade range because I just think once again, these are a product that I really haven't seen. I very rarely experience a cream blush product that gives you that beautiful, blurring filtered effect. I almost forgot about this and like what a crime that would have been because Persona needs to be mentioned for their cream blushes. Their blush multi sticks are so so beautiful. This is actually my favorite shade that I pulled. This is the shade Bloom. This is one of my most favorite shades of blush I have point blank because it really is that beautiful opaque peachy pinky situation. This is just like health in a tube. That's what this is giving. And you might think that these look really similar and they, they kind of do like um, the Merit Stockholm and Bloom, but actually this is a little cooler and this is just a really, like I said, bouncy kind of dewy formula, whereas this is not quite as dewy. They're very different, but they're both stunning. Okay, so moving on to lip products. And first I'm gonna start with lipstick. I have one proper lipstick recommendation, and that is the Merit Signature Lip. And once again, I'm like kind of pulling all my favorite shades here just to show you, but this is the shade Millennial, just a really beautiful neutral pink. They are a cream lipstick, but they do dry down a little bit, but not so much that I'm uncomfortable. Like they do not feel drying whatsoever. I also have this shade that they came out with a few months ago. This is actually gonna go on a little bit more sheer than you think. So these are approachable. And it's my favorite kind of formula for lipstick because I can really go in and kind of blot this out with the warmth of my finger and give myself that like beautiful pouty popsicle lip. And the Merit Signature Lip is also a part of my collection with Merit. Actually, you know what? I was wrong. There's another lipstick product that I want to mention, but it's very, very different from what I just talked about. And that is the Rare Beauty Lip Oils. These were such a phenomenon. Everyone lost their mind about these. And honestly, I think for good reason, because again, this is a very, unique product. I've never experienced a lip product quite like this. I am actually wearing this on my lips today with some gloss over it in this shade, which is called Delight. Yes, these are a lip oil, but to me, these are actually more of a lip stain. I have the entire shade range and every single shade is a winner. My favorite thing to do, which like I said, I just did today is to go over my lips with this like a stain, let it kind of settle in for a second and then go over with like a juicy lip gloss and just like mm, so 
so good. So next we're moving on to one of my favorite categories, which is like glosses, balms, lip oils. First, I'm going to start out with a newfound love of mine, and that is the Rode Peptide Lip Tints. So this really surprised me because when I tried their uh, peptide lip treatment, I, I just have really high standards for lip masks. So it wasn't necessarily blowing me away as a lip mask, but as a makeup product, as like a juicy lip gloss, yes please. I have every shade of these and I know that these are sold out. So let's hope they come back in stock soon. But the shade that I am most in love with right now is the newest shade. I think it's limited edition and it's called Jelly Bean. And it's literally just like the most gorgeous, pink pearlescent shimmer. These are so hydrating. Like I said, they do have like a lip mask formula to them. So this is a one and done lip situation for me and I have been wearing these out. Like this is my go-to, one of my go-to lip glosses right now. Okay, next up, I have to talk about the In Beauty lip oils. These are the lip glazes and I can't get enough of these guys. I have so many shades of these. Like truly you have to know my bag and my backpack is just filled with the road lip glosses, these, <laughs> and all, basically all the gloss products I'm about to talk about. The thing I love about every single one of these glossy products I'm gonna mention is that it truly is a one and done. I don't need to have like a chapstick or something to put underneath it because these products are so hydrating on their own. So it just makes it so easy. Like if we go to a concert, I just pop one of these in my pocket and I'm good. Really, this is my favorite kind of lip formula. I am such a gloss whore. I love anything that makes my lips look juicier and a little bit more plump, a little bigger. Similarly, the Say Glossy Bounces are incredible and I kind of feel like these came and went and I feel like they didn't get as much love as they really deserve because these really are once again, just such a juicy, hydrating formula that just looks beautiful on the lips and just plumps them up. If you are choosing between these glosses, I will say the In Beauty, it's, it's not sticky, but it's just got like a tiny bit of tack to it. It's just the right amount. It's like perfect. It doesn't bother me at all. But compared to like the Say, there's no tackiness to these whatsoever. These are smooth. Now I had a runner up and there's a reason why they're the runner up, which I'm going to tell you in a second, but these Ami Cole lip oils are absolutely gorgeous. I actually just put some of this on over what I was wearing a few minutes ago. The only thing about these is that the containers leak if you don't keep them upright. And I really wish Ami Cole would fix it because it's just, it sucks. Like the formula is so good, but then like, the container is always sticky no matter what I do and I'm constantly cleaning them off. So please, 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 Amico Lay, these are too good for the container to be like that. Please fix that because these are absolutely, these are phenomenal. Okay, so last but not least, I'm going to recommend a setting spray and this one really takes the cake. This is my favorite setting spray I think I've ever used ever. And that's the Cali Ray Surf Proof Setting Spray. Guys, this is the finest, mist. You know how people will tell you like if you're going to use setting spray do it before you put your mascara on so it doesn't like make your mascara wet and kind of ruin your eye look. You don't have to worry about that with this because this mist is so fine. I spray this on after I've done my mascara. It does not affect anything. I'm actually going to put some on right now. It also has just a really, really faint kind of tropical coconut scent, but it's very, very light. If you're a person who deals with, you know, struggling with your makeup staying on, I get that question a lot from people. Once again, a lot goes into that. Application is definitely a factor, but you definitely want to pick up a setting spray because it's going to help you in a huge way. Okay, guys, that wraps up my best in makeup from 2023. This was a this was a crazy year. 2022 into 2023 was a crazy time for me because Roe v. Wade was overturned and I decided to focus only on, you know, products from brands that are loudly and proudly pro-choice. It was a huge change. It was a huge overhaul to my collection. Collection. I got rid of probably about three-fourths of my collection, if not more. The makeup that was actually still usable and not really touched that much, I gave it away to friends of mine. But I just want to thank all of you who stuck with me through this huge turnover of my channel. I really want to thank you because it, it really means the world to me. And I'm not going to lie, it's been, <laughs> it's been tough. It's been like a tough... Um, process and there have been lots of setbacks and so I just really appreciate you guys for sticking with me.
Thank you so much. So on that note, I just want to reiterate, please head over uh, to my Instagram and screenshot that Pro Choice Beauty brand list so you can reference it at any time. Thank you to Ana Luisa for partnering with me on this video. I heart you so much. Please go and check out their sale. It's going to be linked down below in my description box. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. You guys are the best. Please stay safe out there and cheers till next time.